Here are the main spots of Jeju Ole Trail Route 8. First, spot 1, Yakchonsa. Yakchonsa is known as the temple with the largest Buddhist prayer hall in Asia. It is located in a beautiful area with a coastal view at the yard of the temple. You cannot fully appreciate this temple if you are overwhelmed by the grandeur of the Buddhist sanctuary and just past the prayer hall. In the 25 meter high, three story prayer hall, Varyokana Buddha is enshrined in Tejok Kwangjan with Bai Sajaguru Buddha and Amitaha Buddha on the left and right side, and an altar portrait of Buddha behind. It is complicated to make the portrait, which makes it really hard to see elsewhere. Do you want to explore more thoroughly? You'll need to go up through the stairs, either on the left or right. The prayer hall is supported by pillars, with yellow and blue dragons ascending to the sky with a yoiju, a magic pearl, in their mouths. On the second floor, 80,000 bodhisattvas, which Buddhists made together and donated when the temple was built, are displayed. On the third floor, there are five yunjangde, in which Buddhists pray for good fortune by rolling it around. Walking down to the opposite direction from the ascending path, there is Nahanjun Hall, filled with 500 Buddhist disciples. Please make sure to look around there. Yakchansa has a temple stay program to experience the daily life of the temple and a monk's life. The program also offers opportunities to reflect on your life while staying at the temple with simple meals and tea. In general, temple stay programs are conducted at temples surrounded by mountains, but Yakchansa has an open view of the greenness of the four seasons, which is a nice place enabling one to take a rest and practice asceticism at the same time. Next, Spot 2, Jusangjali Cliff and Perine Oram. Jusangjali Cliff is a geological phenomenon with hexagonal columns formed when lava cools down. The breaking waves provide refreshment with the elaborately carved layers of dark red hexagonal stone pillars looking like a huge folding screen. Jusangjali Cliff has been designated as a natural monument, as a resource to feel majesty and the exquisiteness of nature. Jusangjali cliffs are vertical columnar joints, which usually occurs in basaltic lava. The formation is the result of a sudden contraction when thick molten lava flows from the volcanic crater and rapidly cools down in the sea. This Jusangjali is 30 to 40 meters in height and about one kilometer wide, and it boasts the largest scale in South Korea. It is Jusangjali from a geological aspect and is located in Jungmundong, Sogiboshi. Jusangjali Cliff is also called Jisatge Rocks from its old name, Jisatge. The coastal view from Jusangjali is magnificent, no matter whether it's sunny or windy. When waves are high, they rise to over 20 meters, making for an incredible scenery. At that time, you would be fortunate to feel the deep scent of the ocean and enjoy a glorious view. Now, let's get on the trail again. From Jusangjali Cliff, the path along Route 8 leads to Perine Orum. Perine Orum is named after its stream, running through the deep valley Chunjeon waterfalls, like the Milky Way, and it also indicates a cliff. The crater of Perine Orum looks like a horseshoe. It also has an old smoke signal tower on the top. In the past, Tepo in the east and Dangpo in the west, Danke, Nandere in the present, communicated with each other there. Rare botanical species like the Silatum nudum, or the whisk fern, and the Eleocarpus sylvestris grow wild in nature. The area around this is designated and protected as a natural monument. It is a captivating scene to look down at the Blue Sea and Jungmun tourism complex from the top of Peridneorum. The harmony makes for a fantastic view. So I hope you have time to relax here for a while. Because the path with wooden decks and stairs leads to the top, you can easily and safely reach the peak of Perineorum.